everyone loves the Mediterranean diet, for both taste and health. You may have heard of a recent Spanish study that indicated that the Mediterranean diet has a 30% reduced rate of cardiovascular events like strokes than those on a low-fat diet. That's true, but it might be a little misleading for some people just to hear the headline. The study was done in Spain, so everyone was pretty much on the Mediterranean diet, and not all the participants followed the researchers' directions. What the researchers concluded was that those who found the health benefits ate a little more olive oil and more nuts than the control group. Not only was it good for heart health, but the olive oil seemed to bump up the bone density. For decades now, we've heard about how the Mediterranean diet is health, a healthy diet for your heart and longevity. That's true, but there's the Mediterranean diet and the Mediterranean diet. Some people think that any Italian food is that healthy Mediterranean diet. Let me tell you that fettuccine alfredo, pizza, and tiramisu are not part of that heart-healthy diet they're talking about. The people in the Mediterranean tend to eat fewer calories overall. You won't find an all-you-can-eat pasta bar in Florence. What the researchers advocate is a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables with nuts and fish and low in red meats and saturated fats. Overall, it's probably best to limit most dairy products, but there is one staple of the Eastern Mediterranean that is looking pretty good right now, yogurt. Researchers at Tufts Human Nutrition Research Center on Aging did a 14-year study, and that concluded that, quote, higher yogurt intake as part of a healthy diet pattern may be beneficial for blood pressure control and hypertension prevention, unquote. You shouldn't replace your leafy green vegetables with yogurt, though. Replace some of the less healthy stuff like the gelato. This emphasis on fresh fruits and vegetables is not new nor exclusive to the Mediterranean. In the 1960s, the American Heart Association recommended that we eat a diet low in red meats and saturated fats. In the 1970s, when the National Academy of Sciences convened a committee to advise politicians on recommendations for Americans, they recommended that is, the scientists recommended a diet strong with fresh fruits and vegetables, but the politicians wanted to appease business people who had an agenda to sell meat and processed foods with vitamins. One of the scientists, Joan Gusall, who was on that committee, said, the really important message in epidemiology, which is what the scientists had studies of, which was that whole fruits and vegetables, not components of fruits and vegetables, seem to be protective against cancer. But those reports were rewritten by the politicians as though it was the vitamin C in the citrus or the beta carotene in the vegetables that were responsible for the effect. Joan kept changing the language to talk about foods that contain vitamin C and foods that contain beta carotene. But because they didn't know that it was on one of the other things in the carrots or the broccoli. The scientists were unsuccessful in keeping the healthier language, and the politicians recommended eating more lean meat to keep the businessmen happy. You don't need to follow fad diets that tell you to cut out food groups, especially if those food groups include fruits, vegetables, or beans. According to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, the Mediterranean diet is high in beans, high in whole grain, high in fruit, high in vegetables, high in fish, preferably the small fish that haven't absorbed a lot of pollution from humans, high in nuts, and low in processed meats and in red meats, low in saturated fats, and for those who like a little wine with dinner, moderate in alcohol. So switch up from the fatty American pasta bar to the Mediterranean diet for better heart health.